This video is uh, going to deal with the calculations that involve the concept of angle of lol and this video is again in the series of videos I have made on ship stability. I'll give you the link to all my previous videos I've made in this series and I advise you to watch them and get a good understanding of ship stability before you watch this video. However, if you do have a good understanding of ship stability, then please go ahead and watch this video on angle of lull calculations. Alright, so let's start with question number one. Question number one is that a vessel is afloat at 6 meters draft and you have to find the angle of lull if kg is 8.424 meters. Alright, so before we start you must know the formula of angle of lol and this is written here that uh, formula of angle of lol where angle of lol is theta tan theta equals under root of minus 2 gm divided by bm so we have to know the values of gm and bm before we can find out the angle of lol to do so we'll go into the hydrostatic tables and find out the value of km and kb from which we can find out the value of both bm and gm all right, so we'll go into the hydrostatic tables and enter the tables with a draft of six meters, which is given in the question here. All right, so if I go into the hydrostatic tables here, you can see that uh, the draft of six meters, the draft column is here. So the draft of six meters is here. And for six meters, you have the Km value here and the Kb value here. So Km is 8.234 and Kb is 3.205. So these are the two values we need today. And we'll go back with these values and solve the rest of the question. So if I go back here, you can see that uh, the Km value is 8.234 and Kb value is 3.205. Now Km minus Kb will give you the Bm value. So the Bm value is 5.029 meters. Similarly, Km is 8.234 from the tables over here. And the Kg given to you in the question is 8.424. So this is given in the question. All right, we don't need this. So Km minus Kg again will give you the Gm. In this case, of course, Gm becomes negative because the Kg value is more than Km. So we are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So Gm becomes negative. So these are the only two values you need. Put them in the formula here, where tan theta equals under root of minus two Gm. So this is Gm and you will retain the negative sign divided by pm all right so if you solve the equation you should be getting tan theta equals 0 0.28203 which will so if you take tan here after this and give it tan inverse in the calculator tan inverse of 0 0.28203 will be theta which is angle of lol which is equal to 15.8 degrees we don't know on which side this angle of lol has developed whether it's port or starboard because it's not given in the question Right, and uh, if you are solving the under root, solve the internal value first and then find out the square root in the calculator. All right, so solve the numerator, then divide the de denominator, and then the conduct an under root of the value in the calculator, which should lead to this value here. Then we have question number two, which is a pretty straightforward question where you have the values given to you. A vessel has an initial GM of 0 0.3 meters negative and BM of 5 meters. All you have to do is find the angle of lol. It's a pretty straightforward question. Just put them in the formula here. So this formula is again minus 2 GM divided by BM. All right. So you've put the GM value here. This is GM and this is BM. Solve the numerator. So minus 2 multiplied by minus 0 0.3, that will give you minus 0 0.6, then divided by 5, all right, and then find out the under root of that value. All right, so if you are solving this equation, just to help you guys out, just in case you are not very sure on what to do, so minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.3 will be 0 0.6. So solve this equation, so you will have 0 0.6 on top, because negative and negative will become positive. And you divide by 5. All right, this will lead to 0 0.6 divided by 5, which is equal to 0 0.12. 0 0.12. And then under root of 0 0.12 will give you this value here 0 0.34641. Then take tan on the other side, make it a tan inverse of this value, and you will get 19.1 degrees as your answer. All right, I'm just sticking to one decimal place. You can go to more if you want to, depends on what your lecturer or what your assessor wants from you. 
let's go into the third question again and again in this third question we might have to go into the hydrostatic tables because the information is not available to us so the third question is that a vessel is lying at the angle of lol of 16 degrees to port at 6.2 meters of the hydrostatic draft this time you have to find her initial gm so going by the formula here you have been given tan 16 degrees so this is theta you have been given that the gm is given uh, is not given to you so this is the one that you have to find out you have to find out gm well, let's see if we can find out bm so if we have two out of three we can find out gm so we'll go into the hydrostatic tables again this time for a draft of 6.2 meters draft all right it's a pretty straight value straightforward you'll just go and find out the km and kb so if i go into the hydrostatic tables for 6.2 this time so i will erase uh, the six meters so that you guys don't get confused and then for 6.2 meters you can see the draft is here just find out the km and KB values. So KM value is 8.180 and KB is 3.309. So just use these values and go back into the calculation and you can see that that's the values I've used. So KM and KB values are given to me and all I have to do is just subtract one from the other to get the value of BM. So once I subtract KM minus KB, I get BM. That's simple. I'll put this BM into the formula here, which will result in the tan 16 degrees equals under root of minus 2 gm by 4.871 all right so what you should be doing is uh, so find out tan 16 first so tan 16 equals 0 0.28674 leave the right hand side of the equation the way it is but to get rid of the square root square it on both sides that is 0 0.28674 just square it multiply it by the value so when you square the left hand side you automatically get rid of the under roots under root on the right hand side all right so basically you're squaring both the sides all right so just multiply 28.28674 by itself and you will get 0 0.822 0 0.08222 then of course you have minus 2 gm by bm here take the bm on this side here you get 4.871 multiplied by 0 0.08222 and then solve the equation that like how i've shown you and you will get the gm value of negative 0 0.200 meters all right so angle of lol calculations are pretty straightforward pretty simple you can see that it's just a matter of taking the values and putting them in the formula however if there are any other doubts feel free to write to me uh, in the comment section i'm happy to answer your questions if you want me to solve any other question or any specific questions please write down the whole question so that i can solve it some students often contact me with half uh, half written questions i really don't understand how to answer those questions so if you want to solve questions just give me the whole question write it down the way you have read it and i'll be happy to solve it and help you guys out with your learning all right thank you for watching guys and thank you for subscribing uh, keep subscribing because then you get notification about my further videos i'll see you soon with my next video all the best with your studies good luck bye